Welcome to More Business, More Life Daily. And today we're going to talk about raving fans. How do we have them, keep them, and, and escalate everything in our business? So this is the next part of having wow clients. We've talked about the importance of having wow clients. We've talked about having more results for our wow clients and ultimately having more results lifts our revenue and having more revenue. I call these the four R's and now we're on the third R which is raving fans. And and what I'm talking about are the last episodes. So if you haven't watched those, go back to the last couple days um, of More Business More Life Daily and watch those. Um, the last three episodes really lead up to this episode. And so what we're going to talk about is raving fans. So we know when we have wow clients that we pour more into them because we love being around them versus the owl clients. The owl clients drain our energy. The wow clients lift our energy up. And so when we have those wow clients, it's amazing. And then I brought up that when we have wow clients, you know, typically many of us in our business, we have a few, like when we start out, like that's how I was. I had like one or two, then we had a lot of okay clients, and then we had a few owl clients, and those really hurt, right? And the first thing we do is let go of owl clients. The first thing you can do is stop bringing owl clients into your business, and then the next thing you do is like one by one, you start letting go of the okay clients as well and focus 100% on wow clients. Now, what does this do for us? How do we get raving fans? Well, let's just first break this down. Who has the tenacity, like tenacity, I don't know if that's the right word, but you know, the encouragement, like who is motivated? That's the word, motivated to go and, and write reviews, right? To be a raving fan, to like spread the word, to get it out there. Well, our, uh, our wow clients, right? They're so excited. They're having such an amazing time. And think about it in your own life. When something is so amazing, you brag about it. You tell your friends, you're like, I just went to this amazing restaurant. I just had this amazing massage, changed my life, right? You've got to go uh, see this masseuse. Whatever it is, we start to share because it's so amazing. It's like top notch. And that's what happens with wow clients. It doesn't typically happen with okay clients. Okay clients, it's like pulling teeth to get them to give you a review. You, right or a testimonial but I'll tell you who else goes and writes our clients our clients they're so mad they're so upset they could get to that point maybe not all of them but a few of them are going to get to that point and then they're going to go write how horrible it was what the experience was and this is where like another step of like I've told you many reasons why our clients start to drain our business um, and drain the energy of our employees, our staff, yourself. But another thing it does is it also is a huge risk because it, it they they could turn a negative spin into the press. They could go go public on things. You know, I've heard of other people that I've been around at like speaking engagements, and people actually called uh, the the news on them. Like they were so unhappy. You know, some of those news agencies have uh, what do they call it? Investigative reporting, and they go check out the business and see how they were missed taking and you might be like all good intentions and this one woman I met her intentions were really good she just had a bad match it just didn't go well she helped many other people have success and and with with her products and services and then uh, this one person was so upset they got the news on 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 her right in a negative fashion and then they could be writing uh Yelp reviews that are all horrible you know all of these things that uh, doesn't mean you're again doesn't mean you're a bad person it just means that that was a bad engagement so every time you take on a now client you're taking on a risk and you're surely not getting the raving fans so again we only have so much time and so much energy in our life and we've been talking a lot about that in the last couple of days so ultimately, if we let go of our clients and we start letting go of okay clients, and again, I mentioned financially, you may have to do these one at a time because you might have to slowly let them go, but ultimately, we have to move them away because they're taking up our energy. And in fact, some people say, I'm going to wait to have, I'm going to go find more wow clients once I, uh, or I'm going to find the wow clients first and then I'll let go of the others. And sometimes there's just not enough energy. Sometimes you're getting so consumed by your owl clients and so consumed by your okay clients that you have no energy to find or keep wow clients. So sometimes you have to one by one, and I, I've done this, you have to let go of the owl client and then you'll replace it with a wow client. And sometimes I've done it in the same week. 
because the energy was just so bad. Once I let go of that and I like slept a couple nights, I came with more energy to the office and then I got on a phone call and it was so amazing and I found a wow client. So do what you can to have more raving fans and more raving fans are going to come from more wow clients. So again, where our focus goes, energy flows. Focus on wow clients. One by one, let go of the owl clients. And then once you've done that, let go of the okay clients and be a, a, a company, a house, a culture that only works with your wow, the people you're meant to work with. And I, and I can promise you, all my clients that have done this, they've made amazing results in their life. I wish you all the best and definitely let me know your questions, your concerns, you know, say, Hey, will this work for me? Let us know and comment here and we will do everything we can to get the next episodes to answer those questions and even type in the chat there. So please let us know if you like this, subscribe, hit the bell. So you get notified in the next episode and I'm going to give the last of the four R on tomorrow's video. Look forward to seeing you then. Remember, choose gratitude and create freedom. We'll see you tomorrow.